main event time. I don't know why this is the main event. Well, it's because Xavier jumped Paul London because you got to be on E to put this on the main event. But I tell you one thing. Now what the hell is he doing? Well, he's not on E, but he's on, you know what's in there, Ray. Uh, it's not like you've never done that before. Maybe. All right, but we know that on E right now is Special K, and I'm going to put you on the spot right now, Ray. Name me all the members of the Special K team. I think I must be on acid because I see about 30 people in this match. Is there really 30 people out there? I think you're dodging the question. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's Special K versus the SAT Divine Storm Trinity and Mikey Whipwreck. How's that? I'm pretty safe there. And the hit squad, Mikey Whipwreck, a surprise on this show, and Brian XL is back as a surprise on the Special K side as we see Quiet Storm hooking it up there with Dixie. And let me tell you something, wrestling fans. If you're looking for a Mac Classic, if you're looking for psychology, if you're looking for any semblance of a reasonable match here. If you're looking for drugs, go to ringside. But you know what? If you're looking for any of those things, rewind the tape, watch one of the other matches, because this is just going to be a ridiculous display of spots. If you want to put it in layman's terms, that's right, but it's going to be action-packed excitement, high-flying, unbelievable moves. And what is he doing hugging him? Oh, boy, he must be rolling. And there goes Quiet Storm, a little pissed off with the affection of Dixie. And what's he going for here? Dixie counters it. I think he's going for a Boston Crab here. Boston Crab? Why would you be doing a Boston Crab? I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyways, we got scramble action. Of course, you got Special K on one side. That group of raver kids, they're more concerned with partying and going to raves and spending their parents' money, driving their parents' cars, and spending their parents' money on drugs than wrestling. But they're here in Ring of Honor, and they have no respect for anything. And Divine Storm, SAT. Team Mikey Whipwreck and the Hit Squad are here to beat some respect into them. And of course, these all these teams having a long history with each other. And you never know who's going to uh, pop up on a special case team but either, as you got Angel Dust in there with Chris Devine. What a great name for a wrestler. <laughs> Angel Dust. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, Angel Dust rolling through Chris Devine. And uh, should we even bother trying to call the moves in this one? I don't know. There's a German suplex. German suplex right on top of his head. That's and right. With the face paint on the baby face side. Well, I think they're ready for war because they're sick and tired of the shenanigans, the tomfoolery of Special K, and they want to beat some sense into these kids. If it can be done, I don't know. They're high, so it doesn't matter really, does it? Not really at all. And, of course, tag team scramble action. It's one fall wins it. No tags necessary. A guy go rolls out of the ring. Another guy can come in. As we just saw, we got Brian XL and Jose Maximo. Right well, now. Brian XL and Dixie, probably the two original members of Special K, but debuting a crowning a champion in July. But uh, Brian XL on a slight hiatus from Ring of Honor, but he he's in is, Puerto Rico, right? That's right, and he's making his return. You sure he's in Puerto Rico? That's what he told me. But he is making his return to ROH tonight, and he's hooking it up right now with Jose Maximo. Dragon screw, and Brian XL is down. That's right. And right now, well, we got the action going on. This action's going to speak to itself. I I just want to thank, and of course, we all here at Ring of Honor want to thank some of the great promotions that we've worked with over the past year, and that have also worked with RF Video. Of course, it's RF Video that presents Ring of Honor, and our video has over 5,000 tapes, every promotion or wrestler you can think of, from indies to the biggest names, including a lot of the promotions I'm about to mention. And you can check out RF Video at rfvideo.com, as we got Izzy and Joel Maximo in there, the heavier the Maximos. As you can check it out at rfvideo.com, rohwrestling.com, or 215-899. 919404 and if you have any wrestling tape needs our video is the place to go and so many great promotions of course there's USA Pro Frank Goodman's promotion that uh, promoted this show up here in the Elks Lodge did a great job for us thank you very much did a fine job and thanks for having us and of course and Pottstown PA not all the great wrestling in Pennsylvania happens in Philadelphia you go to Pottstown about a 45 minutes outside of Philly would you say it is that's right right up 422 North of Valley Ford and you got the Premier Wrestling Federation lots of great stars there. PWF, check that out. In Jersey, you got JPW and PCW, two quality promotions right there. And uh, right here in the Elks Lodge, you also got ICW. That's right. ICW and USA Pro also run this building that we're at here now. What, what the, the hell is Derange doing now? Are you kidding me? I have no idea. Derange showing Is he even 130 pounds soaking wet? Nope. And there is, I believe, Monster Mac in there from the Hit Squad. He's going to He's going to put some punishment on the range. Yep. Let's and go back to some of those other promotions yep. that we work with. we got to mention the king of all indies, Jim Kettner's ECWA in business for 35 years. 35 years, that is just unbelievable. And, of course, they put on that huge Super 8 tournament every year, and that's definitely one show to check out and one tape 
uh, our video sales, and you also got Combat Zone Wrestling. I tried CZW right here in Philly. And Norm Connors, he's got his IWC promotion on the Pittsburgh area. Very helpful to us when we go out in that area. That's right. He helps us promote shows out in the Pittsburgh area, which we will be returning to the Pittsburgh area on April 26th. Yep, and we'll be talking about that later. And you got FWA in the UK, the UK's hottest promotion. They are doing a lot of what you see in Ring of Honor over in the FWA. And FWA even bringing Ring of Honor over there in May. We're looking forward to that one. And of course, we will have that for sale too. Quality promotion there. And of course, in Japan, you got the hottest promotion going right now there. It's Pro Wrestling Zero One. That's right, Pro Wrestling Zero One in Japan. And uh, they have had a little influence here in Ring of Honor this year, sending over some guys. And some of the Ring of Honor guys are now stars. Japan for zero one. Yep, zero one. Definitely a great promotion we're checking out. And of course, Wednesday night on pay per view is never the same because you got NWA TNA. That's right. And also, one other promotion we'd like to talk about, and that is the NECW out of Boston. Sheldon Goldberg, excellent job up there. That's right. And we're here in the ring now. Derange is still in the ring with Monster Mac. And Monster Mac is just beating the you know what out of Derange right here. What is Derange thinking? I don't know. What's everybody thinking in this match? It's a scramble. Come on, that's, pick it up. That's right. Titty twister there by Monster Mac as he's about to orbit deranged in midair. And we got some comedy going on, I suppose. And a tornado DDT nicely done by deranged there on the bigger member of that combination there. Monster, Monster Mac, Mac is to his feet. Oh, and he comes back with an unbelievable throw in the corner. I think deranged is knocked out. Not passed out from the you know what, but knocked out from that bump. Yep, and tagging out. I don't know why you're tagging. Just leave the ring as Mafia comes in from DHS. And this and is a pretty interesting matchup here. Jody Fleisch, who does wrestle in the FWA in England, in the ring right now with What's Mafia. He doing? Is he out of his mind? He's one of the top high flyers in the entire world. And why is he acting like this? I'll tell you who's out of his mind, whoever put together this match. <laughs> That's Jody Fleisch right now. He is definitely a guy to watch in Ring of Honor in 2003. I see big things out of UK's best high flyer right here and he's a, got a mismatch size right here as up oh, springboards off what's he going for this is that and this is what the kick mafia back on his feet oh so, big kick takes jody fleisch off his feet i think jody fleisch was knocked a little dizzy uh he might be dizzy from something else for that matter big chops whips him in oh vicious larry oh. to the face of jody fleisch. he wasn't dizzy before he's dizzy now and you know what while we're at it i'm talking about some of the great promotions that's helped out Ring of Honor and our video works with. I want to talk about some of the great stars. As you see Jody out, deranged in the hard way. And I got a feeling deranged wishes that he was out too. Deranged is taking some punishment here as he's about to get thrown. And Jody Fleisch took some of that punishment as well. As it's almost like a human car wreck here. A human car wreck it is. And a car wreck of other things it is also. But anyways, I want to make mention of some of the great wrestlers that's come through Ring of Honor in it's just its first year. And just what an incredible talent roster the Ring of Honor has had. And wait a second, Mikey Whipwreck being tagged in right now as he's going up against Slim J from NWA Wildside. And, and there's another promotion, Bill Barron's with NWA Wildside, a great, great promotion. And Mikey Whipwreck, surprise return right here to the Elks Lodge in Queens, New York. Everyone thought he was in retirement. He's back, of course, he trained Divine Storm and the SAT back to team with the students in this big match. As the Amazing Red, originally scheduled for this match, is doing his first tour of all Japan. Very happy for the Amazing Red, as he will be back in ROH. Ooh. And there's Mikey. Mikey knows how to entertain the crowd, that is for sure. And Slim J, I'm definitely looking forward to big things out of this guy. But anyways, talking about some of the big talent that's been through ROH in its first year, you got to start with Jerry Lynn. What a great all-around wrestler he is. And what a great match he had with AJ Styles back at Road to the Title. Yep, and why don't you tell us about some of the Japanese talent that's been in, Ray? The various Japanese talent has been in, in um, ROH this year, including Masato Tanaka and Shinjiro Otani from Zero One, plus also the freelancers, the tag team, the uh, Dick Togo and Ikuro Hidaka. And they'll be back. They will be back soon. Plus also Takayo Amori, formerly of Pro Wrestling Zero One. He was in ROH at the Unscripted Show. So ROH definitely having an international flair this year in its first year. And you'll see more of that in the future. And don't forget there's Spanky, of course. What an impact he made in ROH in the first year. That's right, including that 60-minute Ironman match at Crowning the Champion. 
He is definitely a superstar in the pro wrestling business. Yep, Brian Kendrick, Spanky, what a great guy he is. And of course, Scoot Andrews, we look forward to having the Black Nature Boy back at some point. Woo! And then and yeah. Mikey Whipwreck is just lighting up Slim Jay right here. And speaking of uh, international talent, what about the Luchadors? Super Crazy and Eddie Guerrero, both in Ring of Honor. That's right, and what an incredible match that was. Just one year ago, I can't believe it was one year ago, at the Era of Honor begins. Yep, and there's Mikey laying out all a special K. Mikey just cleaning house here in the Elks Lodge. Very nicely done, and here comes the rest of that team. You see the SAT, Divine Storm, the Hit Squad all in there with Mikey, Special K all on the outside. There's just almost too much action to call. Yep. And who would ever think that you would have seen a match like this when Ring of Honor started? But at the same time, who ever thought you would have seen a duel of Butcher in Ring of Honor? That's right. What a great night that was, December 7th, night of the Butcher, as Abby and Homicide tore up the Carnage crew and just about everybody else in the locker room as well. 15 guys in that brawl. What a bloodbath. And what do we got going on here? Mikey in with all the Special K members. You see Izzy. You see Deranged. You see Jody Slim J. Everybody's in the ring. What's happening? And they're good about to get Mikey. Everyone up and whoa! What the heck was that? And Angel Dust was just a little bit late, and Jody Fleisch is still in the ring. What's he setting up for? I don't know, but I just saw bodies flying all over the place in this one. Wow! Springboard somersault pleasure. Beautifully done, and that's why Jody Fleisch, he could be a star in 2003 in Ring of Honor. That's right, definitely. He will be back coming up in March. Yep, and speaking of somebody else that's going to be back, we mentioned the amazing red, Alex Andrews. Mikey's going up top. Uh-oh. Mikey, I don't think he's done a dive in three, four, three five four. years. <laughs> and there he goes. Very nicely done, taking out a whole pile of people. Trinity's the only one left standing, and that big guy, special security Slugger. Yep, and Slugger's not one dude that you want to mess with no, at all. not at all. As I said, Alex Aaron will be back. Another guy had a couple of great matches in Ring of Honor, Jeremy Lopez. Jeremy Lopez presently now in Osaka Pro Wrestling in Japan. Hopefully he will be making his return to Ring of Honor sometime in 2003. Yep, somebody who won't, and he did a great job for us, and wish him best of luck, James Maritato, now known as Nunzio. Nunzio getting his, his deserved his deserve push in the WWE. Yep, and Tony Mamaluke. Tony Mamaluke also will be back shortly. Got to see him. Sonny Siaki looking good. And don't forget, Ken Shamrock came through Ring of Honor. The baddest man on the planet, Ken Shamrock, made his presence known in Ring of Honor as he ref that incredible match between American Dragon and Low Key back at the Round Robin Challenge. Yep, what a match that was. And then you got guys like Johnny Storm, David Young, Adam Jacobs, and the Boogie Knights all making contributions to ROH. And what about Prince Nana? Prince Nana, and wow, he was there. That's right. A lot of the fans, you know, they don't, they weren't big Prince Nana fans, but hey, if you had Towel Boy in, you might as well have Prince Nana in. That's right. And hey, ICP was in too. That's right. You didn't see it on video because no one wanted to see it, but hey, they were here. As That's there you right. see. What an incredible roll call of athletes for the year 2002 in Ring of Honor in their first year, their inaugural year. But what's going to happen? Because year two starting right now, it's going to be bigger, better. And it's just going to be unbelievable. Yep. And don't forget Donnie B. We replaced him here in the broadcast booth. That's right. And that guy, Steve Carino, the guy who caused all the mayhem earlier tonight. I wish he was back in the broadcast yeah. booth after the night. And there's somebody else. What was his name? What's that? Uh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> but anyways, we're real proud to work with all those promotions. And now you see the scramble action. What's going on here? Uh, well, Jeff Gorman, but we're not talking about him. Jeff Gorman, he'll be back. He'll be back. Yep. We were talking about him. Yep, Jeff Gorman will be back in the announcer's booth soon enough. And there, oh, kicked by Quiet Storm. Here comes multiple baseball slides. There's Jose Maximo. Chris Devine. It's like, it's like spring training all over Jamal again. Maximo, now that extra impact. And Mikey. Oh, with the big knee. And down goes Angel Dust. I think he's had just about enough. Roll out of there, get somebody else in, keep the action going. He's definitely feeling dusted. And what's this? Oh! oh. Some of them hit, some of them missed, but all of that hurt. <laughs> That's for sure. And what's Mafia setting up for? Is he going to give one? Wait a second. Joel stopping him. What? Cannonball? Uh -oh. oh, my God. This is definitely going to be painful for Angel Dust. That'll hurt him more than rehab, let me tell you. And right now, I would just like to also thank ROH owner, Rob Feinstein. Thanks. Even though you did dock my pay uh, three days for putting on that CW thing on the nail of the butcher, but I'll let that slide. <laughs> what do you mean, don't put that on? Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> All right, but anyways, we got scramble action going on right here. And I just want to mention some of the upcoming shows where we got a moment where we have a pause in the action for some reason. There's 97 guys in this match, and for some reason they're all just standing around right now. Maybe you can help me with that one. But he's getting a high impact in this match. It's a scramble match. And once Monster back going to the top rope, Mafia putting Angel to us, who's taking a lot of punishment in a figure four. And Monster Mac, he's got to get that frog splash in. And he's going to... Taking his time and now oh, splatters Angel Dust on the canvas. And I think Angel Dust has had just about enough. Get him out of there. I think he's had his share. But anyways, Ring of Honor, the next show, March 15th. If we turn to Boston when we hit Cambridge, Massachusetts, the Massachusetts National Guard Armory. That's a new building for ROH, and what an incredible lineup we have for that night. Why don't you tell us, Chris Lovey, some of the matches scheduled for March 15th as we return to the Boston area. I think I'll do that. And a battle of two of the best five flyers going today. The Amazing Red against Slim J. Hot Stuff Hernandez makes his return. And a technical wrestling match, Matt Stryker against Chad Collier. And, a, and the number one contenders trophy match, Homicide versus Samoa Joe versus Easy Money versus B.J. Whitmer, the winner to get a title shot uh, March 22nd in Philadelphia. And Christopher Daniels, he'll be forced to team with Xavier. We're making the prophecy defend the tag team titles that night. Donovan Morgan in Japan, but the prophecy, hey, they said. Wait, wait, what's going on here? Mikey, whoa, whoa, what happened? He just turned on Joel Maximo, and now on Jose, what's going on here? I don't know, but it should have happened three minutes in the match. I don't know what the hell's happening now, why he waited this long. Oh! And he's taking out all his partners right here in the middle of the ring in the Elks Lodge. And Special K is loving this. Look, they're dancing, cheering on the side. And he's got Quiet Storm. Whoa. And he just drops him. Whipper snapper, the super whipper snapper right there. And Special K is going nuts. And why why would Mikey do this? And Trinity's, Trinity's in the ring. Trinity's going, oh, what's up? What's going on here? Mikey seems mildly entertained. You know, look at that. Spot. Wait a second, Slugger's in the ring. He's gonna take out. No, he's telling Mikey to back up. Oh, oh stiff slap to the face of Slugger. What's he gonna do? Drops or what's that? The body bag? That is called the body bag, and Trinity is out. Special security Slugger taking care of business right here in the middle of the ring. I guess he's earning his money. And what's he doing? He's taking Trinity. What's going on here? Why, what happened with Mikey Whipwreck? Why is he turning against his students? What's happening in this whole match? That's what I want to know. What's going on here? And Slugger seems to be leaving with Mikey Whipwreck and a knocked out Trinity. Wow. And right now, XL and Quiet Storm are in the ring. Big oh. forearm by Brian XL to Quiet Storm. And, XL's and he falls with the knee. Yeah, he looks like he's put on 10 or 20 pounds of muscle in his hiatus in Puerto Rico. Must have been working out a lot there. That's right, and a big springboard drop kick to the back of the head of Quiet Storm. You know, it's almost like he was in, uh, in lockdown at the gym. Could be. All right, but anyways, going back to Boston, Chris Daniels and Xavier, they got to defend the tag titles. Ring of Honor says, hey, Donovan Morgan's in Japan, but Chris, oh, Chris, he said any members of the Prophecy could defend it, so we're going to make it happen, and they're going to defend against the winners of a 14 scramble earlier in the show. One team yet to be announced, the other team's in it, the Backseat Boys, SAT and Carnage Crew. And the Special K is just stomping the you-know-what out of Quiet Storm, and look at them mocking him in the ring, they're all in the ring. This is scramble action at its best, it's uncontrolled mayhem right here in the Elks Lodge, a Ring of Honor's first anniversary show. And the SAT's a divine storm trying to help, I mean, trying to help out Quiet Storm, but they can't get in the ring. And I'd hate to be Quiet Storm right now. He's faced with his whole oh. gang of ravers. And he just got crotched. And they're doing the baseball slides. Jody Fleisch, Izzy, Slim J, Brian XL. Take it, Ray. Angel Dust. Well, showing he's a little on something. He's a little uncoordinated. And there's the range definitely on something. Oh, vicious. And now it's Dixie's turn. How many guys are in this match? Big leg drop. I don't know. Brutal. Follows with a baseball slide, and this is... Speaking of Special K, they're going to be in for an ass kicking in Boston on March 15th as Loki has singled them out for the month of March and says he's going to beat some respect with them into him, and it'll be a six-man as he teams with the hit squad against members of Special K. That is going to be one brutal matchup. I can't wait to see that as we we'll return to Cambridge. We have Slim J in there with Quiet Storm, and March nice. 22nd, ROH back the Murphy Rec Center, where it all started in South Philadelphia. Just five blocks in the ECW arena for the FWA title. That's right, UK's hottest promotion title will be defending here. Christopher Daniels, he's a champion. He'll be defending against Doug Williams. Whoa, nice. What an insane move by Slim J, even though he moved. 
and Mark and Jay Briscoe, their first time ever as a tag team in Ring of Honor, they'll be in action on March 22nd. And then the big grudge match. Oh, nice. nice. Dropped him right on his head. Go for a cover, please. What a display of moves we're seeing in this one. But in the grudge match, as a result of what happened tonight, the feud's just heating up. Homicide and the hit squad, they'll be taking on Samoa Joe, Michael Shane, and C.W. Anderson. They're going to tear down the house in South Philadelphia. And as I just said, Loki said he wants to teach Special K a lesson, and he challenged Jody Fleisch to a one-on-one -on -one match from March 22nd. Wow, Loki versus Jody Fleisch on March 22nd. That is definitely a dream match. Plus a steal, CM Punk, Cole Cabana, and a very big name, and we're going to see his promo a little bit later on tonight. And, of course, after this match, April 12th, Ring of Honor, special 5 p.m. start time. Dragon screw there by Crystal Vine. Sorry, cut you off. No problem. April 12th, special 5 p.m. start time at the Murphy Rec Center, just five blocks from ECW Arena. Special doubleheader that day with CZW. So great time for the out-of-towners to come and catch two fantastic shows. And Steve Carino makes his return to Ring of Honor that night. Then, I'm sure he's going to disrupt the show somehow. Oh, of course. You know, when Steve Carino's in town, something bad's going to happen. As there you see, we got Dixie and Joel. Joel Maximo, what's he going for here? Oh, Maximo plans. Overdrive. I believe that's the Blue Thunder the Driver. Blue Thunder Driver. Yep. And April 26th, we're coming right outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a Buffalo, Ohio. Up, or excuse me, northern New York, western New York, western Pennsylvania. This show's within driving distance of you, so come check it out. Right out. Oh, nice. Beautiful Jose suplex. Maximo and Jody Fleisch. It's coming to West Mifflin, the CCAC South Campus. Izzy, nice did spinning DDT right, excuse me, satellite DDT right there on Jose Maximo. It's tough to call a match like this. Maximo rolls out, scramble rules, so Mafia can come right back in. Uh oh. He's got a hook right now. Dragon suplex dropped him right on his head. Right on his head. But anyways, right outside the Pittsburgh area, April the 26th. And here's a talent roster signed so far. No matches yet as we got the range to Mafia in there. As we got for a talent roster for April 26th outside of Pittsburgh. Nice move right. by the range. We got AJ Styles, Chris Daniels, Donovan Morgan, Doug Williams, the Backseat Boys, CM Punk, Cole Cabana, A Steel, Michael Shane, Hit Squad, SAT, Easy Money, Alexis Marie, Allison Danger, Simply Luscious, and a whole lot more coming to the Pittsburgh area April 26th. For info on all these shows, ROHWrestling.com, RFVideo.com, or call 215-891. 9404. And look at Hydro and Yayo getting beat up outside the ring and deranged. Dropped on his head again. Hopefully it'll knock some common sense into him, but I doubt it. Oh, what a clothesline by Monster Mac. Wow. 360 and smartly XL. range rolls out so Brian XL can come into the springboard. And this action's just so fast and it's tough to call. And Hydra is getting worked over right now by Joel Maximo and Chris Devine on the floor. Action is everywhere in the ring, off the top rope, around ringside. This is what you get. Actually, there's nothing in the ring right now, even though there's 117 guys out there. Go figure. Yeah. But anyways, there you see Slim J. He's pummeling Quiet Storm right there. They're going up to the top as the ring fills up. Chris Devine coming to the aid of his partner. And what's going on Wait here? a second. Angel, I'm not going to call this. You call this, Ray. Call what? There's too much to call. Everybody's there's about 22 there. guys on the top rope here. And I guarantee this is going to be oh, a pretty... No. Oh. <laughs> what a car wreck. We got power. Superplexes, Russian leg sweeps, you I know, don't know what else. You know what I can't believe? The ring held up. <laughs> that's the top, that's the strongest top rope and ring ever. <laughs> yeah, I gotta agree with that. And all everybody's down in this one. Al Hansen has to hurt. Look at Hansen. He's just as confused as this crowd and you and me and everybody in this match. What is going on here? I'll tell you what, this is definitely a, an unusual matchup here in ROH. It's a human car wreck. Yeah, that's right. The mother of all scramble matches. And it is the mother of all scramble matches for sure. As now the, the busted bodies, the broken bones, everyone going out. And it's back to Monster Max spending a lot of time in that ring tonight. Kicking a you-know-what out of Slim Jay right now. Yep, Slim Jay ducks a big clothesline. And Slim Jay reverses into nice a nice DDT. DDT right there. Slim Jay. And I like the Slim Jay kid. I wish he'd get out of Special K because he's got a ton of potential. As you see, I don't even know what to call that. Very innovative, very original wrestler. Tries again, no. Monster Mac falling backwards. That's right, Sunjay going for a cover. And a two count. 
And what's going on, Sanjay? Lots of brawling on the floor right now, too. Sanjay, yeah. Sanjay picking it up. Nope. Going for a power bomb. No, I think he's going for a press slam. He's going to press slam him. And hold but on. Press slam him where? I think he's getting some ideas. Oh, no. Wow. Oh. Slim J was a human torpedo. He just got thrown, press slammed out of the ring to the floor as he's caught by many members of Special K and SAT and Divine Storm. And what a car wreck of bodies we got out there. I'm not going to call it a car wreck again because that's what this thing is, and you people know it out there. But what a display of moves we're seeing, one thing after another, all action. I can't believe it. What a way to end this show, the ROH first anniversary show after everything we've seen tonight. What an incredible show tonight. We saw the heroic effort by Paul London coming up just that short just against ROH champion Xavier. You know what, Paul London, you talk about that effort, He's going to go a lot of places, do a lot of things in his careers, but 10 years from now, 20 years from now, people are still going to be talking and asking him about his effort tonight. And what, what about that three-way tonight? Match of the year, you heard the crowd. Incredible, and that awesome, strong style display between American Dragon, Brian Danielson, and Samoa Joe. What an incredible match that was. CM Punk keeps the winning streak going as Mafia plants down Izzy right there. That's right. CM Punk up to three shows right now. He's a force to be reckoned with. That's right, and the battle between Jay and Mark Briscoe. What an emotional match that was. That was great. What an awesome opener. Everything tonight and all that. With the hubcaps, the Christopher Street, and of course the riot. The riot. That'll Thanks go to down Steve as infamous. Carino. Infamous indeed. As we got the SAT, nice double team there on Izzy and a kick out. 27 guys out there, and not one of them can make the save, but we got a kick out. As there you see, deranged. Deranged now in the ring, working over both members of the hit squad with various kicks and punches and but boots. Quiet Storm in there. Quiet Storm getting fired up, and his tag team partner Chris Devine in here. That's pretty impressive that the Rangers able to beat down both members of the hit squad like that. Big forearm. And oh, another. another one. Ouch. Stiff right there. And what are they setting up for right here? Chris Devine up on one corner. Quiet Storm taking deranged up on the other corner. And what a quiet storm hooking his legs. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Oh, Joel German Johnson. suplex. That's like a German suplex with like his legs hooked in. Chris Devine now. Oh, nice leg drop. Nice leg drop off the top rope here as Derange is down. But Dixie back in the ring. Now he's working over Chris Devine. Dixie winds up and hits him with the other one. Whips him in. And Dixie's going to be a guy to definitely watch in 2003. As Dixie now, oh, going for that Royal Elbow, misses quiet, or excuse me, Chris Devine misses, and Dixie catches him with a fist. That's right, a big fist there by Dixie. As now scramble action, quiet storm back in the ring, big forearms to Dixie. The action going back and forth, back and forth here, and a big boot. And what's this? And you know what he's setting up for. One of the most dangerous moves in professional wrestling, but Izzy blocks it. Uh, Dixie. Oh, Dixie, you know, I'm sorry. Coming, and of course, you don't want the Storm Cradle driver, but hold on, what's this? Spinal shock, possibly. Oh! Drops him. He nails the spinal shock, and that's going to recover. No. no. Dixie getting the ropes, and that saved him. That's right, Dixie with the presence of mind to grab the rope there as he saved the pinfall. As he saved losing defeat of his team, Special K, his quiet storm should probably, I think he should try for the storm cradle driver again. He's got Dixie worn down. Yep, oh, but Dixie now fighting back. And let's see. What's he going for here? Both guys seem a little tired in there, and they're a little bit too long. That's a nice suplex. And here comes Brian XL. Look how jacked he is. He is jacked. And he's calling for the finish here. What's he going for here? The exclamation point. It looks that way and... Oh! Wow! A Put variation it. of it. I don't know what you call that. Nicely done. That was a great move by Brian XL making his return here, even though it is with the team of Special K. Glad to see him back here in ROH. And what's Joel Maximo in the ring? What's he setting up for? A lariat, but he misses a big kick by Brian XL to the back of the head of Joel Maximo. Springboard in with a super kick, kind of. That's right. Joel Maximo down. XL going to the top rope again. He does he does not shy away from that top rope. What is, what's he going for here? A 450? But Joel catches him. And Joel's going to plant him. Power One bomb. power bomb. And oh. another. The third. Is he going up? Give it some punishment out oh. to Brian XL. How many of these can Brian XL take? I don't know. What's he going for it here? Looks like the maximum explosion. Oh. There it is. Drops him right on his head. And 
somebody's got to, Brian XL's got to roll out and somebody's got to roll back in. No, and Brian XL kicks out here. And I thought that was going to be it. I thought that was it. The crowd thinking it was going to be it too, as there's Jody Fleisch coming in. Incredible stamina by all these athletes as they're in the ring for over 30 minutes here. And, and now Joel Joel and Jody in there. What's going on here? Oh, nice by Jody. Look at the quickness of Jody Fleisch. He's awesome. Handspring. What's he going for? Puts him down. Oh, lands on his feet, though. Nice. Angle trap. This could be it. No, he almost had him. What a great move there. What a pinning move by Jody Fleisch. Jody Fleisch is so quick. 720 DDT. And he hits it. That could be it. Nails it. That's his finisher. This could be all. No, Joel kicks out. Now Joel's brother Jose in the ring. Pile driver. And he holds on. This is going to be that really pile driver combination that we've seen. That's number two. Another one. Oh. And a third. And this is what got Jose banned in Memphis. <laughs> and now, uh oh, here's the final thing. What's it going to be? Picks him up. Oh, drops first. Jody Fleisch could be out. And this could be it. What a show. It's over. No. No. Kick out. Now Slim Jay's in the ring. What's he going for here? I think he calls this the electric chair. Oh. Wow. Boy, he just put a shock into Jose Maximo with that. And here comes Mafia. Look at this. Mafia versus Slim Jay. What a size difference here. Mafia's got him hooked. Ow. What oh. pressure on the neck. Did you see his neck bend? Wow, and Slim Jay kicks out. Now Izzy's in the ring. Like we said, if you want ring psychology, if you want work in a hold, if you want mat wrestling, you rewind this tape. This is just an exhibition of spectacular moves. Nice drop, moonsault drop kick there by Izzy. And Izzy signaling for something. Oh! Perfect. 360 springboard splash. But Mafia kicks out. One amazing move after another. What an incredible display of high-flying action we're seeing here in the final match of the ROH first anniversary show. And now it's Derange and Izzy working over. Uh, that's Monster Mac of the oh, Hit Squad. Zaguri, another climbing in Zaguri. Monster Mac is staggered. Both of them hitting in Zaguri, and he is down. Cover. This could be it. No. Not quite enough. And Derange now in the ring. Why would he ever take his shirt off in the ring against the hit squad? That's just asking for punishment. That is just asking for some brutal chops. But now let's see, springboards off into a line salt, but he's caught by Monster Mac. Oh, oh, brutal move! He dropped him right there. And it's the greetings from Asbury Park. <laughs> what the hell is the range doing? I don't know, but he better roll out of that ring because exactly. he's about had it. And here comes Izzy, and this thing is just broken down. Oh, crotched on the top. Chopped by Mafia. And uh-oh, Mafia's got that look in his eye. Uh-oh. Spanish fly time. This will be it if they hit it. This will be it. Only. It can be duplicated, but there's only one original, and that's the SAT and the Spanish fly. And here it is at the upside in New York City. Beautiful move, and that's got to be it. Izzy has got to be knocked out. And someone's going to go for the cover. There it is. One, two, no. Oh, and Brian XL and Jody Fleisch make the save for a prone knocked out Izzy on the, on the ground. And what's Mafia? Mafia's got Jody Fleisch again. And XL hits Mafia. And Mafia and Jody Fleisch now working over Mafia. I think Brett Panson's giving up on get, keeping a one-on-one. -on -one. He's just trying to just count the pinfall, get this thing over with. Yeah, that's definitely not happening in a match like this. And what's Jody Fleisch setting up for? Going up top of Mafia. No, Mafia pushes him off, but landing on his feet. Very, very nicely done. Once again, XL, same thing, nicely done again. Now they're both going up, and Mafia's in some trouble right now as both these guys up there, and Mafia pushes them all, both of them crotched and down. And hold on, Deranged, he looks like he's gonna take advantage of this opportunity. Oh. Wow. He says he's gonna win this, you know what, right now, I'd like to see him. Derange is definitely Derange, and Mafia pushes him out, and the SAT catch him, very nicely done, and they're feeding him back to Mafia. Oh, no, no, no. no. Mafia's got a most burning hammer from the second row. Oh my God, that's gotta be it. 